it's me and I'm coming to you with day five of 30 ink 30 days today's ink is going to be diamine ink vent moonbeam this is a chameleon ink this is one that I feel like a lot of people liked um, from this ink vent and I'm really excited to use it I think I've inked my pen already if not this is the pen we're going to ink it with okay I did um, this is my Jinhao x750 in shimmering sands and I have a Goulet broad no is that a Goulet nib no it's a Nemesign a Nemesign broad nib on it um I actually was gonna put this in my Pelican moonstone but I couldn't find it I cleaned a bunch of pens and I think it's in the pile and I just wished whisked through it really fast um, but it's this pretty dark gray ink with like this blue green shimmer um yeah so I'm excited to use it uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like this is one that a lot of people um, really liked. I don't have my automatic pen here, but I have this. So we'll just use this, I guess. Uh, that's going to be a different thing. Hold on, let me get the automatic pen. I'm sorry if I have like no energy. Um, it is Friday morning. I stayed up until like four or five and um, everybody that lives in this house has woke me up at some point and it's like eight o'clock and I'm, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to film this video, try to upload it and go back to bed and post it whenever I post it. <laughs> the concert was amazing. Um, let's, yeah, let's write, let's write in here. Uh, concert was amazing. Um, we went to the Fillmore in San Francisco. April 2024, day 5, moon, moonbeam. <coughs> Pardon me with the sneeze. One more. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, pardon me with the sneezes. Um, yeah, it was raining and we had to wait outside. And um, that was like less than fun, but no, that wasn't too bad. I like was, there we go, here's our shimmer. Um, uh, yeah, so I met up with my friends and uh, we went to, we Ubered over to the venue area and got something, well, we wandered around trying to find something to eat and um, ended up having to just grab Subway because <laughs> that's all we had time for. We There were a couple of places that um, like used to be there and when we went there, they weren't like either, they weren't in existence. So um then we, was, then we ran into the line for the venue and we're like, oh, I guess we should get in line. So we quickly ran to Subway because it was right there and um, grabbed a sandwich and then went and stood in line and ate our sandwiches in the rain. <laughs> um, this is like, it's a nice warm gray kind of. I think it's warm gray. It feels like a warm gray. Uh, I, didn't get, I didn't grab a syringe either. I'm all over the place. Um... Do I happen to just have one sitting here? No, of course I don't. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so it was, I don't know, I was... So we stood in line forever, and then we went in, and then we got a drink, and um, let's see, let's see what this looks like dry, even though you've been sitting here watching it dry. Again, this swatch looks so much nicer, but you can see the shimmer. 
Um, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So we went inside. Um, we got a space in the crowd, and um, the opening band was a band I'd never heard of. They're called Winnetka Bowling League or something like that. Um, and they were actually pretty chill. Like, I, I didn't know any of their music. Their first song, I don't remember what it was called. It was kind of like whatever. And then they played a couple more songs, and um, I kind of got into it. It sounded really good, and I'm going to... I found them on Spotify, and I'm going to listen to a couple songs today, like, post-show. And, um, yeah. And then Loveless came on, and the singer was sick. He's been battling the flu for, like, the last week. They almost canceled the show a few days ago, but didn't. And so, um, um, I feel like he was kind of sick at the last time I saw them, because they keep doing San Francisco at the end of their tour. Um, they're based in LA, so I guess instead of starting with hometown shows, they want to end with hometown shows. Not that San Francisco's hometown for them, but, um, you know, it's closer to hometown than, uh, you know, like, the East Coast is. Um, day five, day one. So, the show could have been a little better, but it was still, like, you brought the energy and, um, as much as you could, I think. <laughs> it was still a great time. I cried. They played one of the songs that makes me cry, and I, it, it was good. The people that, um, were around me were the people that I was with that didn't really know their music, but then there's, like, a large group in front of me that just, like, had no energy. Like, they were definitely there for the headliner, and that's it. Um, so it was kind of subdued. Um, um, let's see. Uh, what? Kaboom. That was the opening band. And the song that I like is something like Come to the Beach? Question mark? I think that's what it's called. Um, that's one of the ones that I think I saved and um, I'm going to listen to. Um, but yeah, um, they played, Lovell's played a bunch of my favorite songs. Um, they usually, they have been playing a new song that isn't released yet, but they didn't play it at my show which was kind of a bummer because I was really excited to listen to it, but they played um, one of my favorite songs, and then they ended with my most favorite song of theirs, Lighthouse, and uh, yeah, they did a, they did a, um, they did a cover medley, so I found Loveless on Instagram because of a cover. They did a cover of Middle of the Night by, I forget the artist, and I thought it was their song, and um, turns out it wasn't, it was a cover, and um, oh, yeah, they also covered um, Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish, uh, Running Up That Hill from Stranger Things, and then they did Middle of the Night, and then they started the the music for Unholy, and they were like, just kidding, just kidding, we're not doing that one, and then they played um, their newest song that was just released, and uh, called Addicted, it's really good, and then, um, yeah, and yeah, it was just a great time, and then Water Parks came on, and holy hell, Water Parks brought the energy, it was a great, we ended up leaving early, the, uh, people I was with, um, wanted to leave, so we left, um, I could have stayed, I thought about staying, but then I would have had to wait outside for an Uber all by myself, and, um, that just made me really nervous, so, um, I went with the group, um, I think, though, the next time Water Parks comes through, I will be at that show. Um, yeah, we watched, like, I don't know, maybe half of their set. Um, I got to see, uh, one of my favorite songs, uh, Sneaking Out of Heaven, which was really good. Um, and they did, like, a medley, also, of some of their songs, and I was just, like, yeah, I was totally into it. It was so good. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, like, loud and amazing. I don't know. It was, yeah, it was amazing. Um, yeah, it was amazing. I ended up listening to, I found a set list playlist on Spotify and just like listened to that all the way home. So it was like I was there even though I missed the end of it. But yeah, it was a great time. And I'm really grateful and thankful, um, to my friends who went with me who didn't know any of the bands really and just were there to like 
hang out with me and check them out and yeah so you all know who you are if you were there with me thank you so much um yeah just thank you for everything i'm really lucky <laughs> i know some awesome people and i'm gonna get emotional i'm gonna stop but yeah let's let's do a splat i'm not crying you're crying anyway so yeah so um, it ended up kind of working out that I got home. I got home probably an hour earlier than I expected to, which is not bad. Um, and then I got to, um, one of my friends was streaming and they found something in, so a game that I've been obsessed with is Remnant 2. And, um, I don't know if you like video games or anything. Some of you do. Some of you do. If you do, do any of you know Remnant 2? I don't feel like there's enough in that, there's a splat. But we're going to do it anyway. Um... Yeah, that's a weak splat. Okay, we're gonna try again. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to be slow and intentional about this. See, yeah, okay. This maybe this will be better. Um, there we go. There we go. Let's blow some of this out because I like the little tendrils. Um, yeah. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I came home and uh, one of my friends is newly playing Remnant 2 and I've been playing Remnant 2 like I've 100 percented it and um, yeah, it's a great game. I love that game. But there's a lot of like randomness to the game and you can, you can run a world and get like new stuff every time, which is one of the reasons that it's fun to keep playing it and there's, I have a checklist of like I have a character that I've been playing and I want to get everything in the game on this one character and my friend who is just new to playing the game ended up getting a section with stuff in it that I didn't have and they ended up finding it while I was on the ride home <laughs> and saved it for me so I could join them and so I joined them and we got the thing and um yeah I thought that was really nice so I got to do that and then I got to hang out with one of my other friends um, all night and we played games and it was super fun. So I had the best time last night, um, all across the board and yeah, I'm really, I'm really lucky to know some super awesome people. So if you're watching this, thank you. I love you. Um, yeah. So here's our ink of the day. I'm looking forward to writing, to writing with this. Um, I have, I didn't. I didn't bring my Anne of Green Gables, but I am caught up through yesterday, so I'm um, looking forward to getting this in the notebook, and yeah, and then we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. I've really been enjoying Maria's 30 inks, 30 drinks. That's not what she's calling it. That's what I'm calling it. Um, <laughs> so far, her first week has been uh, either sponsored or inspired by me, <laughs> which has been lovely. Maria's the best, in case you didn't know. Um, you should definitely check out her videos. I haven't really, I know there's other people, I think, um, Kristen at Life's Inspired Designs, I think that's her channel name. I'll link her as well. Um, I haven't been updating the description box. I'll try to remember to put cards up. Um, she's been doing 30 inks. I haven't watched any of her videos yet, but I've seen some of her posts and they're beautiful. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't participated in many of the 30 inks aside from uploading my videos and watching Maria's. So if you're participating in 30 inks, let me know in the comments. I need to play some catch up. So yeah. Le also let me know what you think of this ink. It's, yeah, I like the gray. It's a warm gray. It's got some, it's got like that shimmer that's like green or blue. The chameleon, you know. Um, look at the text. Is it showing up? It is showing up. It's blurry, but it's showing up. I really, it's really pretty. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just amazed at how different. Hold on, let me see if I can move the splat. Um, so this can dry. I'm amazed at how different these splats look just because of the tool that I used. I used a paintbrush on these because that's what I had around. Um, and I were just really, I really prefer the automatic pen swatches. I think it shows off the ink so much better. I, yeah. Like, there's some of these inks that I didn't really care, like, I didn't really care for, but in the swatches here, like, I love it even more, like Moonbeam. Even Buck's Fizz, like, it's totally not a color that I like so much, but that swatch looks much nicer than that swatch. Even the pink. 
I like that so much more. Even though I was really excited about this one. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to see what um, what we're doing tomorrow. I mean, we all know what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Velvet Emerald. It's the next one in the in the ink vents. Uh, I already have it inked in a pen, so um, that'll be exciting. And then, yeah. I have a pen in mind for the one after it, and then I have to find another pen for the one after that. So we'll see. But yeah. Anyway. I'm rambling. This video is like probably twice as long as it needs to be. But yeah, the concert was amazing. If you ever get to see Winnetka Bowling League, Loveless, or Water Parks, I recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, yeah, what I saw of the Water Park show was amazing, and Loveless was amazing even though they were sick. <laughs> um, I hope that I one day get to see Loveless at like their peak because... Both shows that I've been to, they were kind of they were kind of under the weather. So, um, yeah, actually, Loveless is going to be at Bottle Rock this uh, summer in May. I'm not going because I don't know the idea of like festival stuff just makes me want. It's like three days. I think I don't remember which day they're playing, but I don't know. That many people just makes me want to crawl in a hole and die. But. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm not going to that, but yeah, if you're gonna if you're going to Bottle Rock, I definitely recommend seeing Loveless on the day that they play if you so choose. Anyway, again, rambling. I'm gonna shut up now and uh, let you get on with your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with day six of 30 and 30 days. Take care. Bye bye.